Hi guys, welcome to my fingerstyle guitar tutorial of Scared to be Lonely by Martin Garrix. In this tutorial we're going to learn the intro, the verse and the pre-chorus. So put your cape on the 4th fret and guitar in standard tuning. What we're going to learn in this tutorial is going to sound like this. So we are first going to learn the intro of the song, so that's bar 1 to 5. So for bar number 1, start by putting your pink finger on the 5th fret 1st string, play it once, then put your point finger on the 3rd fret 1st string, and also play it once. So for bar 1, and for bar number 2, Put your thumb on the 1st fret 6th string, point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string. And with the right hand you're going to pluck string 6 and 2 at the same time. And now pluck string 2 again. And add your pink finger to the 3rd fret 1st string. Play it twice. And now play open 1st string. Okay, so bar number 2. Quicker. And for bar number 3, we're going to play the 5th fret open, sorry, 5th string open, open 1st string, and then put your pink finger on the 8th fret 1st string, play it twice, and then down to the 7th fret. Okay? So bar 2, 2, 3. For bar number 4, we're going to keep having our point finger on the 7th fret and add your... And for bar number 4, we're going to keep having our pink finger on the 7th fret and just add your point finger to the 3rd fret 6th string. And we're going to play it. And then play the 1st string, 7th fret. And now, we're quickly going to play 7th fret 1st string. We're going to go to the 5th fret back to 7th, and then up to the 8th fret. So we have... Okay, so... So bar number 3 to 4. And for bar number 5, Put your point finger on the 5th fret 1st string, and with the right hand, pluck string 6 and 1. And end this bar with playing 1st fret 2nd string, open 2nd, and then middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string. So, so bar number 1 to 5 is going to sound like... So, now we're going to learn the verse of the song, so that's bar 6 to 13. We're first going to learn bar 6 to 9, and they're going to sound like... So, we're going to start by putting our thumb on the 1st fret 6th string, point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string, and middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string. And we're just going to play the 6th fret, sorry, 6th string, with the right hand. So we have... And now play the 3rd string. Then lift your middle finger and play open 3rd string. And then put it back and play it again. Okay, so we have... And after this we're going to pluck the 2nd string, 1st fret. So we have... And now we're going to do a slide from the 3rd fret, 2nd string, with our pink finger to the 5th fret. 
So we have... And directly after the slide we're going to move to bar 7. Oh sorry, and we're going to play the 5th string. So it's... And we're going to end the 7th bar with playing string 3 and 2. Open. And after we play string 3 and 2 we're going to move to the 8th bar. So it's... And for bar 8, put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 6th string. And play it once. And then play the 2nd fret, sorry, 2nd string, open, 2nd string open. And now add your point finger to the 1st fret 2nd string. Lift it and play it open again. So for bar 8. Bar 7 to 8. Bar 9, we're going to play the 6th string and point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string, open 2nd, and now middle finger to the 2nd fret 3rd string. So it's one more time. So it's so bar number 6 to 9 slowly. for bar number 10 to 13 and we already know the first three bars so it's but bar number 13 is going to be a bit different so we're going to play the sixth string and now the third string one more time third string so we have now put your point finger on the first fret second string and with the right hand we're going to pluck string six and two at the same time. And now pluck the third string, open, and middle finger on the second fret third string. Okay, so bar 13. So bar number six to 13 is going to sound like this together. So now we're going to learn the pre-chorus of the song, and that's bar 14 to 21. And bar 14 to 17 is going to sound like this. So start by putting your thumb on the 1st fret 6th string, and your point finger on the 1st fret 2nd string. And with your right hand you're going to pluck string 6 on its own, then pluck string 3, 3 again, so we have And now pluck string 6 and 2 at the same time Pluck string 3 So And now put your middle finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string So bar 14 And for bar 15 Play the 5th fret, sorry, 5th string, open, 3rd string open, 2 times, so, and now put your point finger on the 1st third, third fret, 2nd string, and play string 5 and 2 at the same time, play 1st fret, 2nd string again, and open 2nd string, so bar 15. Now for bar 16, put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 6th string, play it once, and play the 3rd string two times, so, and now add your point finger to the 1st fret 2nd string, and we're going to pluck string 6 and 2 at the same time, pluck string 2 again, and now lift your point finger, and play open 2nd string. Okay, so bar, for bar 16. So, yeah, now we're going to learn bar 17. So play the 6th string, open, 3rd string, 2 times. 
So, and now point finger on the first fret second string and play string six and two at the same time. And now open third string and middle finger on the second fret third string. Okay, so bar 17. And bar 14 to 17 slowly. Okay, so now for bar 18 to 21. And we actually already know how to play bar 18. 19. 20. But 21 is a bit different, so but it's pretty easy. So play the sixth string and play the third string open. And now second fret, third string, okay? Eighteen to twenty one. Sorry. Okay, so this was the first tutorial of my finger stag guitar arrangement of Scared to Be Lonely by Martin Garrix. In the next one we're going to learn the chorus of the song and the post chorus. Then we know my whole arrangement. And if you haven't seen it yet, I have free tabs available in my description. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day guys.